I'm always looking for great 3D printers at reasonable prices for practically anyone, but especially for educators. The New Matter Mod T 3D printer is a great find in this quest. I first saw this printer at the New York City Maker Faire in 2015, and even back then, just the look and elegance of the printer's industrial design stopped me in my tracks. Almost a year later, I finally got to test one out for myself. The bottom line is that I like this printer and would definitely recommend it, especially for people with a budget under $500. The unboxing was a pleasant experience, a well-protected printer body which required almost no assembly, and a well-organized set of well-labeled boxes for the minor parts that had to be assembled and the tools which come with the device. The clear instructions direct you to their online site to get fully set up, where I had to create an account to continue. The New Matter software for setup is not web-based, it runs on Windows and Mac, but was easy to get installed. After setup of the software, I was instructed to download firmware updates, and that also went smoothly. Connecting the printer to my home Wi-Fi was mostly easy, but 5 GHz networks were not recognized, so you need a 2.4 GHz network to get up and running. There were some small bumps getting through the complete printer connection process, but within a few minutes I got through it and realized with delight that I would be able to control my printer now from a web-based interface, which gave super clear instructions on how to finish the printer setup. The site also had simple button controls to do things like load the filament and see the status of the printer. I mounted the light blue 1.75mm PLA filament which came with the printer onto the plastic spool which connects to the back of the printer and loaded it into the hole clearly marked filament in the back. Then I used the web-based printer controls to get the filament fully loaded. My first print was something simple and small. I picked a simple pegboard hook that I knew only takes a couple of minutes to print. Once I figured out how to upload my own models, which wasn't as clear as I would have liked, I uploaded my model and used the clear online controls to set up the parameters for printing. It was set a bit hot at 210 Celsius, so I lowered it to 185 and started it up. There aren't quite as many printing options as something like Cura for printers which would require G-code to be directly loaded, but that's the whole point of the Mod T, to make printing simple. So the advanced options are somewhat out of the way intentionally. The fan of this printer is quite loud without the cover on, but this printer comes with a plexiglass cover and once it was on, the printer is pretty quiet, so I can see how that makes it more friendly than other printers that have no enclosure. I was very pleased with the way the model adheres to the print bed which is clearly made of a special material intended for this purpose. It's becoming more common in printers now, and with about a dozen prints I did, I had no problems with models adhering to the bed, and with no additional materials like hairspray. Note that I only used PLA, I did not attempt ABS. The subsequent tests I did included one of my favorites, a single print hinge, and this model has a bunch of one half millimeter gaps between parts that are intended to move freely. And you can see in the video that it printed rather well and just required a little bit of forcing to freely move the hinge. Almost exactly the same amount as required when this model is printed on a printer literally four times the price of this one. I was super happy with that result. I also printed a few other models including a thin walled desk organizer in the shape of my initials which has lots of curves and it came out quite smooth, a great result on the first try. While the Mod T has a very innovative mechanical design for the bed movement, which completely avoids belts and allows the bed to be removed and replaced, it is not necessarily space efficient. The footprint is approximately 15 inches square on the bottom and 13 and a half inches tall, and the build envelope is only six by four inches and five inches high, 120 cubic inches approximately, which is pretty good for most hobby projects. I'm not thrilled with the process of changing the filament color, but that's pretty much par for the course for most 3D printers, and I'm spoiled by the ease of filament change in the Polar 3D printer. Overall, the Mod T seems like an incredible value for an elegant, easy to use 3D printer. While no 3D printer these days is completely user friendly as an appliance, the Mod T comes closer than many I've tried, and its elegant external design could be on display in your home, in your living room, or even the Museum of Modern Art. At $399, it's definitely one of my top recommendations for printers under 500 bucks. And while I haven't used it long enough to call it reliable, I would say that I've had no clogs, no failed prints due to adherence to the bed, and generally no issues with the software.